it is a very, it's a very warm and humid. Water's running off of me. Saturday here in Maryland, but just got done doing a Facebook Live talking about the V-Boards, the big scoter on the 48-inch arms, the Brant, and of course the canvas back. So right after this, you'll see Facebook Live. I can do my best uh, job of trying to answer. Um, Karen's not here, so I'm down. A camera person just doing my my uh, solo cameraness with uh, with the tripod, so it might be a little shaky. Might not be the best footage, but all things considered, I hope it looks good. So I appreciate you tuning in. Let's check it out. It is. It really is. It is a very warm and humid Maryland Saturday, and the stuff is just stuff is just running off of me. Woo! <laughs> hey, thanks for tuning in. Um, get a lot of questions about V boards and uh, trying to be a little bit productive today. Excuse me one second. The unsweet iced tea tastes awesome. But uh, sincerely, it is a, it's a very warm one. I'm trying to be productive and uh, it'll be a great time to take a little break. As you can see, I even broke out, even broke out the sunscreen just to try to get a little bit of a shade. But but anyway, truly, I want to get back to topic. I want to talk about V boards, and um, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what I've got going on here, um, and try to explain it to you at the same time. Basically, everything I use for my frames is I try to find the lightest two by fours that I can find out there. Um, Home Depot used to have a dried uh, fur. It was really, really, really nice, uh, nice and light. Kind of had an orange tint to it, and it worked very well. Um, I can't seem to find that now, so they, they have something called white wood. But regardless, try to pick your driest and lightest 2x4s that you can find. That would be number number one. Number two, on my um, Brant and canvas back, anything that's smaller, or anything I should say that has the 24-inch arms, I'm just using, really just using 3 8 three -eighths plywood. So find yourself some good 3 8 plywood. Um, maybe buy, step up and you can get yourself a two by two square or two by four square. And um, the better quality it is, I think the better results you'll get for the, for the big scoters, half inch. And um, this is a template, so it's kind of it's cut up. Before I started getting into uh, cutting really everything up just to make sure they work. But again, you're gonna use, or at least I use, the uh, half inch plywood for the sandwich. So we're going to get two by fours for, for the arms. Um, my smaller bird, Brant, I'm using tw 24 inch, 24 inch arms. And on the bigger scoter, the prototype bigger scoter, I'll show you them in a minute. Um, I was using 60 inch arms and I've scaled that back to 48 inch arms. So I'll show you those in a little bit. Um, the other thing you're going to need to get yourself is a bunch of stainless hardware. So. Any hardware store, Amazon, on and on and on, has plenty of stainless hardware. I think back in the day, some of the early V-boards for the brand I used had uh, galvanized uh, galvanized hardware, and I was using carriage bolts. Um, but I've kind of switched up. I think the I think the stainless with the uh, with the locking washers. <coughs> Excuse me. With the, not washers with the locking nuts um, serves the purpose. Of, serves the purpose better and again back in the day I would actually glue the silhouettes in and uh, this round I'm going with the brass screws so that way eventually somewhere some sometime along the way I bet you if you make these and you make them out of the the quarter inch Lawan or the uh, five, five millimeter floor underlayment um, it's it's good light stuff and it works well but sometimes you will snap a head off so uh, instead of them being glued in and not being able to get it out, I'm going to use screws, and we'll be able to flip-flop them out. So, I think that'll, in the long run, I think that'll uh, that'll be a better a better way to go. So, heat index today, they say the weather channel said it was 110 to 115. Ooh, I'm feeling it too. All right, so let me get this. Uh, see if I can see the camera to get her flipped around. All right, so here are 
There are the big scooter. The big scooters on the 48 inch arms here. And then these are the 24 inch arms for the Brant. Oops, I think we got a little crazy there. Uh, for the Brant and also the canvas back. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm taking a two by four, a two by four, running it through my table saw, splitting it in two. I'm gonna go then back and put myself a groove or a slot for the, this happens to be five millimeter underlayment. These are old quarter inch, works well, both of them do I think. Um, but I'm gonna put a slot back in these. And for the smaller ones, the 24 inch arms, I'm actually cutting angled, angled arms that when they open up, they, the uh, outside arm goes against the center arm and that gives your, your stop or your friction. And on the, let me set this down, on the bigger ones, we have um, basically, it's a big, it's still a sandwich, but instead of having, having my arms angled and back out and stop onto the center, my arms are stopped on another strip of two by four that's cut out. And again, don't pay attention to these grooves that are cut in here just because that was, um, that was just my, my sample, but they work really nice. Closed up, opened up. On the smaller ones, again, they just open, open up and back out right on there. Hope you can see that. Simple and easy. Easy. Very effective. These guys show up, they show up forever. Comments, questions, feel free to type them out, ask them. I'll do my best about, about, uh, find table saw, go back. How deep you'd like it to be. You're going to run it through. You have to do it twice, usually to get the thickness that we need. Um, so that the, the silhouettes will sit in there. But anyway, get your grooves done, cut out your plywood. On the smaller arms, you're gonna fortify the back sides. On the big ones, you're not, just because, because when it opens up, it bottoms out right there, and that's the stop, so. Maybe not the, uh, the most sophisticated way, but it's the way that I do them, and it works. It's worked out pretty well for me over the years, so. When I get Karen, get her, uh, get a couple minutes from her, I actually try to do a real nice video. Maybe I'll, I'll cut some and actually show you how I cut them and, and get them done. So, um, hey, speaking of Karen, it, she already texted me a picture this morning of her of a first heat stroke uh, dog. Looked like a little Frenchie. So, uh, anyway, remember them dogs. Whoo, I feel like a dog. UFC Saturday, so we're gonna be touring a dog beverage. I'm not really sure. Probably it'll probably just be Crown Black, but. These, uh, any of these instructions, feel free to ask. I will do my best at answering. So, as always, thinking of you, we are. A very happy thinking of you, are. <laughs> Woo. As I always say, simple and easy, easy and simple. I think they are. A little bit was halfway explanatory. Again, try not to overthink it. They work very well. Any way you can get your arms to stop on the other on the main on the main arm works here's for my bigger ones and again they just back out right on right on the the extra arm i put in the back there so if i can answer any questions for you feel free i'll do my best to assist and explain what i did so like i said on, on facebook it is very warm it's a ufc saturday i'm waiting for karen to get home we're going to break out I don't know, she'll probably do some Basil Hayden, but I'm doing crown black on the rocks. She's been doing everything neat, but especially today, I need I need a little bit of ice. Mm. So as always, whew, <laughs> the heat's taking it out of me. But as always, I appreciate you watching along. I appreciate you following along with us. And as always, thinking of you, we are. Woo!